discuss your stuff. Um, John, a really strong start from the boys tonight. What was just a case of not being able to do it for long enough? Absolutely. What are your thoughts on the game over there? Uh, when we don't rebound, it's a tough night for us. Um, although we didn't play great against Melbourne, we competed with them on the backboard and we stayed in the game tonight. Uh, Kings did a great job on the glass. Like I think we were down 14 at the, on the boards in the first half. So just the extra possessions just get to you over time. Um, guys, Penny's had a foul trouble early in that third quarter when it was starting to fall away. How much did that affect things as well? Uh, and look, we we feel like we got a good roster, deep roster. So when guys get in foul trouble, the next guy stepping up, that's the opportunity for him to embrace that and uh, continue on. So um, you know, foul trouble happens in a game. You guys had a really tough night, obviously a couple of nights ago, a really brutal game physically. Did you feel like um, there was maybe an energy problem with the guys, especially in kind of in those last three quarters? Oh, look, we, we, you can cut the cake a million different ways when you're evaluating. We just weren't good enough tonight. Mm. You went to the zone, um, mm -hmm. kind of got you in the game yep. a little bit. I mean, is that something you feel like you'll, you'll do a little bit more? I mean, I know obviously you, know, you want to play man a lot, but yeah. that zone really helped you. Yeah, I think, look, we got a, we've got a team that we can uh, apply some change to our defence. Mm. Um, so. What, what that comes in. Uh, obviously, tonight the zone uh, stifled them for a minute. Um, you know, first time we've ever played zone with myself here at Perth. So, um, you know, there was some benefit to it. Um, so, we'll for sure look at it. Was it obviously frustrating that uh, you, you did have some, some good looks? Were you happy with the, the quality of the shots you were getting? Tonight? Yeah, look, basketball, and every coach says it, like it becomes a make or miss game. Um, and when you get open ones, like that, that's what you want. That's why you run offense, is to get a good look. And uh, we'll obviously watch the game, but I thought, uh, particularly in the first half, we got some uh, good looks. We got in transition, you know, all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, it'll be interesting reviewing the game. Ross, what were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, just trying to figure out a way to, I guess, fix those little kinks that we have, lapses throughout the game, because it's the one percenters um, that may happen two or three plays in the second, two or three in the third, two or three in the fourth. They add up over the course of the game. So just trying to uh, iron those out. You guys had that great home opener against Tasmania, but uh, last couple of games in particular offensively, it seems to be just a little bit clunky. I mean, is that... Is that a fair comment? Are you just sort of working through some of those kinks offensively at the moment? Uh, I was speaking generally, but yeah, I mean that's included. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a process where some nights it looks like we have it all together, and then there'll be nights like this where uh, it looks a little bit patchy. But I guess that's part of the process, and um, yeah, we're still trying to figure it out. But I do believe uh, we will get there. Don't do it all tonight. Um, so, did you feel like there's still obviously it's going to be a bit of upside with? With him coming back, but just as this group develops, that you be so really confident that um, yeah, there is tremendous upside for remaining in the group. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I just said, yeah. um, and that's that's the way you have to approach it. We've only played you know, like four or five games so mm. far, so um, there's no sense in, in losing the confidence in your team uh, at this point. Bryce, as you mentioned, fast but mistakes and fails affected the game. Most of the time, right? Um, did you think the fact, like this mentioned, is this fatigue and the fact that there'll be short turnarounds this season that you won't have time to really dwell on? Uh, I mean, I feel like we always have, you know, quick turnarounds and, you know, whether you did or you didn't, that's a part of a season. You can't dwell on any games for too long, whether you got a game the next two days or so or in another week. Uh, you have to have short memory uh, whether you're winning or losing, so I don't think it affects it that much. Anyone else there? Yeah, John, um, it's Craig Adonis here. Um, the, the rebounding, we haven't seen that, that sort of rebounding problem from you from this group this season. What, what, do you, what, what did you think the problem was tonight with the rebounding? Was it intent or was it technique or was it just just better than you? Look, what I, what I would say about Sydney is they do a great job of playing with pace and space. Um, so they're like they're five out a lot, and they have good athletic wings and bigs that crash. 
you know. So uh, their style and their pace, um, you know, it's it's their own way. Like um, they want to play that way, so we have to be uh, our attention to detail and understanding that. Um, you know, now that we've played and we have a better grip on that, that's for sure. And you, you said on Friday night this would be a weekend where you would learn a lot about yourself given the opponents you play. What's the biggest lesson you take from the, from the past two games now? We're, we're not quite at a championship level, whatever the date is today. Um, but the good thing is, is, you know, it's at the front end of the season. We understand by playing Melbourne and Sydney what the level and the consistency in a, your performance that you need to have a successful regular season and give yourself a good chance in the playoffs. Thank you. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, guys.